people, I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is on my top five tips on how you can use this bad boy to help you revise because I know that many of you are addicted to your phones and I think it would be good rather than seeing your phone as a bad thing which provides distraction and stops you revising well, these are going to be ways in which you can actually use your phone to help you. So, number one, use your phone to watch YouTube videos on the relevant topics aka come and watch my channel Science with Hazel. You'll find loads and loads of videos on content together with past exam question talk throughs and they should really help you. So shameless plug there, but do use YouTube. It doesn't have to be my channel obviously, there are plenty of other channels out there which can help you, but if you found it hard to follow what your teacher was saying at school or you struggle with reading your textbook then there are some really good tutorials out there and I don't mean my own there. Okay, number two, Use your phone to look at the BBC Bite Size website. I can't recommend this website enough. It's great quality content. It's exactly the right amount of detail you need. There's no irrelevant rubbish there. You can be sure that it's accurate. And the best thing about it is those little quizzes at the end of each topic. And that's a really quick fire way of checking your understanding. Number three, use things like Quiz Up. I'm really obsessed and I end up playing Harry Potter Quiz Up. So you're going to have to avoid using um, Quiz Up for the wrong things, so make sure you're not taking quizzes on Harry Potter or favourite football teams, etc. There's some really nice biology um, quizzes on there, so I would definitely recommend giving quiz up a go. And it's a nice way of rewarding yourself or giving yourself a little break um, in amongst all the other boring study. My fourth tip is along the same lines as quiz up, but this time it's another um, app and it's called Duolingo. So if all you people taking language GCSEs, really, really recommend that you take a look at Duolingo. It's an insanely good language app. It tests you, asks you things, it's at exactly the right level. You get to do some oral speaking, you get to do some listening. It's amazing and I'm actually teaching my sp myself Spanish right now. And lastly, um, Snapchat. Why not just take clips of yourself doing some work, um, teaching a topic maybe, send it to your friend, maybe ask them some questions, go back and forth, get them to answer them, and then just use Snapchat in that way rather than in the ways that you're more accustomed to. And hopefully you'll find the phone far more useful in your quest for high grades rather than being a horrendous procrastination tool. So that's my top five tips. And I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want more.